independent candidate, uh, independent caucus candidate interviews. Uh, tonight we're here with Dan Devasella. Dan is a Connecticut State Senator from the 21st District. Uh, he's been serving since two, 2007 and he's the Deputy Minority Leader. Uh, we have uh, a panel of independent caucus members who are going to question Dan tonight and I'll have them introduce themselves first and then we'll have uh, Dan make a statement before we start. <laughs> um, with Independence Caucus and the 912ers of Southern Connecticut. I'm Mark McNally, I'm from Woodbury, and I'm known uh, as Joe the Voter from Woodbury, part of the Dump Dodd movement. And I've recently joined the Independent Caucus to try to help question the candidates. And I'm Sherry Harris, and I'm also from the 912ers of Shelton. Kim Welch, state rep for Independent Caucus. Kareem Crutch for the Independent Caucus. Tricia Galloway from Trumbull. I'm with the Independent Caucus and we've also been involved in state hearings in Hartford and tea parties recently, that sort of thing. And uh, Dan, we have about 17 or 18 questions. We're going to try to get through as many as we can in an hour. Great. And before we start, would you like to make a brief statement? Could you just introduce yourself? That's sure. Awesome. Absolutely. Uh, you know, first, thank you for, for having me here tonight. Uh, as we say, the Dandy Vassella, I'm running against Jim Himes in the 4th Congressional District, which is uh, most of Fairfield County. Uh, and I'm running because uh, I really believe that uh, the American dream is threatened right now. Uh, and my family has been lucky enough to live that dream, and I want to preserve it for others as well. And if you look at what's coming out of Washington right now, uh, it is uh, 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 an encroachment into every single area of our lives. Uh, if you look at it, guys like Jim Himes, who are, are, who's our congressman right now, have basically said, government's the answer to everything. Auto industry's in trouble, government should take it over. Banks are in trouble, government should take it over. Healthcare's in trouble, government should take it over. I firmly believe that is the wrong way to go. It is not the values of free enterprise and individual liberty that have made our country great. And so why I'm running is to actually make sure that whether it's on the economy or health care or any number of issues that I'm sure we're going to talk about tonight, we return to those values that make this country great. Uh, by way of background, I was born and raised in Bridgeport. Uh, my dad was a policeman. My mom was a secretary. I was the first person in my family to go to college full time. Uh, and I've been a businessman most of my life. Uh, I worked for a consulting company called McKinsey and Company, uh, then was director of strategy at Pepsi, so they're all Pepsi drinkers. Uh, and then uh, most recently was vice president of marketing up at the Hartford uh, Financial Services. Uh, and I got into politics locally. Uh, is uh, here in Shelton, uh, where I made my home. Uh, I ran for our local board of apportionment taxation, which means the budget. Um, got involved with that because of my business background. and was very proud that we actually lowered the mill rate by 8% uh, over my tenure there. Uh, and in 2006, uh, said, well, geez, I feel like I had a good impact on the local level. Uh, maybe I'll try doing that at the state level. So ran for the state senate uh, and won in both 2006 and 2008, which weren't exactly great Republican years, uh, but ran on a uh, platform of smaller government uh, and making sure that state government isn't getting into areas that it shouldn't be. And most recently, by my probably proudest accomplishment of the last year up there, uh, is I actually authored a budget uh, that shrank the size of Connecticut state government by 5% to get rid of our deficit without raising taxes or borrowing. Unfortunately, it's not the one the Democrats adopted. Uh, but we need people willing to stand up to say, not just we have to slow the rate of government, but we actually have to cut government spending and cut those areas uh, that are nice to have, but not essential to our well-being as a state or as a nation. Uh, and so, like most politicians, I'm talking too much, so let me stop and let you guys uh, ask some questions. Thank you.